Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and today I'm starting off bare faced and beautiful because I am going to be turning myself into Blair Waldorf. If you are a Gossip Girl fan like me and grieving the loss of Gossip Girl on most streaming services, then come along this adventure with me as I turn myself into Blair Waldorf. I'm going to be doing her makeup, hair, and a outfit inspired by something she would wear. So I am just going to be doing a kind of get ready video with me as I kind of walk you guys along the process of what I do. So without further ado, let's get into it. I am going to be basing my makeup and hair off of the character on the show and how they styled her, not necessarily anything from the book because I have not personally read them and I'm not for sure if they're too specific with how she looks. So I'm just gonna stick with the TV show character. So first things I'm seeing is they really styled her makeup to be very youthful. There's like no dark circles. She has a very round, young looking face. They use a lot of blush on her and it looks like she's almost always wearing some sort of lip gloss or red or pink lip. So those are definitely going to be important characteristics of her. She also has very thin eyebrows. I feel like they're very thin and detailed. So I think that mine just will have to be look, look a little bit thinner. And it looks like she typically has some sort of very light eyeliner. Um, nothing too big or too winged or anything just a little bit over the top so I'll make sure to include that as well so let's just begin so I'm just gonna start off by priming my face Now I'm all matte. I'm just going to be going in with my favorite all coverage foundation, which is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So definitely going to be using this and then just a brush to blend it all in. my winter shade if you can't tell I literally am blending them with the background but that's all right can't decide what I want to do next I think I'm just gonna go in and conceal this so I don't look as ghostly and then I'm also just going to be using the Fenty Beauty concealer as well and like I said she doesn't really have any appearance of dark circles so I'm going to highlight myself a lot more than I normally would Oh, that's like really close to my brow. And I'll finish up concealing after I finish all of the, what is not called? All, after I finish all of the contouring, just because I think it's a little bit easier for me to see shadows than highlights. So I'm gonna do the, her shadows first. But she doesn't really have any. They don't really give her too much of a jawline or anything. It looks pretty straightforward. Normally I would color correct, but this concealer is pretty full coverage, so I don't typically need to. And I don't have any color corrector anyways, so. now so I'm just going to set this with some powder and then I will go on to contouring and the thing that I love about this foundation that I have is literally you don't need to set it like it dries matte which is amazing like it dries like there's already powder on it one of my favorite features of it, but the concealer, it still um, dries with a little bit of liquid touch to it, so I just like to add some powder on there. Okay, now for contouring. I'm gonna refer back to a few photos just to make sure I'm doing this justice. So it looks like she has a pretty defined jaw, so I might make my jaw just a little bit more defined, and she has a lot rounder face than me, so I might have to kind of contour this a little bit so it's not as harsh of a jawline 
And she has a pretty cute little button nose, so I'm definitely going to need to contour my nose pretty good. And a very round, smaller forehead than me. Her forehead isn't that small, but it's definitely rounder. It comes in. Her whole face kind of comes in a little bit more than mine, so I'm just going to need to work on that. So I'm just going to use this matchstick first. If I need anything a little bit more full coverage or heavier color, I'll go back in with something else, but I'm just going to see how this works. So first, I'm just going to cut off all that. <laughs> not cut off. Ooh, that was not even. Okay. And she doesn't really have much of a jawline, so I don't think I'm going to do that. But like I said, with the chin thing, I'm just going to make look like I have more of a chin. And then jaw, I'm gonna come in a little bit more than my normal jaw would. Look like I'm trying to draw on a beard. Alrighty, and then for the nose, which I'm going to use something for. Oh my goodness, I look so crazy right now. I promise it'll come together. Trust the process. This is the reason that I highlight afterwards. I like to put my contour down first for the most part, especially around my nose area, just to bring out those highlights a little bit easier. Let's start going. I think my favorite part about doing contour is like just showing the magic like all of a sudden it doesn't look like anything and then all of a sudden it's like perfect and I'm just doing this in front of like natural light right now so hopefully it'll show up the best of course this isn't a realistic look for every day but I just think it's a fun thing to do every once in a while with your makeup to see what you can do Makeup can so be a hobby, and I think everyone should take advantage of that. It doesn't always have to be just for the day. Do it because you want to. Oh my gosh, my jaw looks so different. I kind of like defining my chin. I didn't think I would. I don't have a very defined chin. So my biggest tip for contouring, of course I am no professional, I am no makeup professional in any way, shape, or form. There's much better people at this than me. But I like to, especially with a cream contour, I like to kind of pick up the product, spread it around a little bit, and then really work with it is the best way I've found. So kind of spread it a little bit thinner, get it on your brush a little bit, and then spread it where you need to. And just kind of make sure you're working around the, like working in what you want to see so if I want to see my jaw go up more I should be working it up more if that makes sense she does kind of have a little bit of a bigger lower nose than I do more defined out in this area so I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more cream contour just out there to make this a little bit more defined and not so blended in I want to get too close to someone in this makeup though because from any other angle I certainly tell that there's something wrong with me look like I need to work on her eyes yeah they're definitely a little bit more hooded than mine are 
And she also has darker shadows right up here than I do. Yeah, it seems like she's a little bit darker in here. So I'm just going to just add a little bit of contour there and I think I'll be done. going to do a little bit over here I feel like I could just do so much like there's so much to contour so much you can do with this little stick of magic not too bad okay now for the highlighting Definitely a little bit right here. She has just a little bit of lightness right up here, on my forehead. And then I think I'll just do my nose and then conceal my lips to be a little bit thinner. is just overdoing it at this point. But I just want to point out, I'm aware my hair is not brown. I can't even take myself seriously the way I'm talking right now. But yes, my hair is not brown. I'm very aware of that. My natural hair is, but um, let's just say Blair had like a Serena moment, okay? gonna go in and make my lower lip a little bit different. My nose contour on camera is just not looking the best. In real life it looks fine but on camera it's really picking up those darks. So I'm just gonna do my brows real quick. Like I said, she does have thinner brows than me, so I am just going to make them a little bit thinner than normal, but they're very dark. But she has a very nice shape to her brows, which is pretty similar to my own. She just has a little bit of a more power arch than me. Power arch, ooh, I love that. proper similar arches. I have a scar right down here on my eyebrow and I think it messes up that this brow is always going to be higher than the other one. And her front is pretty dark too. She doesn't seem to have too much of a fade. So I'm gonna kinda bring that color all the way down. similar or they're pretty similar to my own my eyes are pretty round I think so I'm just going to make them a little bit more round and a little bit more hooded looking with just bringing in some shadows and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of liner and then some lashes or not lashes mascara so I'm just gonna start off with beach and just make it very round kind of starting in the middle instead of on the outer part I think she would definitely be a cool color more, so I'm gonna add some cool colors in here. I just wanted something kind of easier to blend out to start off with. Now to blend, and like I said, I don't think she's actually really wearing 
any eyeshadow and if she is it's probably pretty simple but I'm just adding a little something to make it look like her eyes more now that that's been blended I'm just gonna add some cooler tone in there so I think I'm just gonna go in with gray I'm just gonna go in with some gray putting that warm color in so I'm just gonna go back in and just do a little bit over here, over here just to kind of get rid of a little bit of that oh not too shab I kind of like that okay then I'm just going to use a like pencil eyeliner and it looks like she goes from about midpoint and then down. She doesn't really use a lot. I'm just gonna do a little bit because she doesn't really have very long lashes either. And then a super light mascara. Again, just focusing on the center the most. And for my favorite part, it's the blush, which is actually going to bring in some color to this face. I'm using two kinds of blush because they put so much blush on her, I think they really wanna make her look more youthful. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off with a stick blush actually and work that from my, my little cheek smiles up to the high points of my face because she, she has quite a lot of blush on. I'm going in with a powder blush as well. just a little bit on her nose so I'm just going to do a sweep over my nose and then last but certainly not least are the lips I'm just going to start with a little lip pencil and just kind of outline how I want her lips to look I'm kind of scared to see what this color looks like on me Yep, don't like it. And then last but not least, in true Blair Walder fashion is some sort of gloss. Hmm, I'm gonna go with this one. pretty good I think so so I ended up having to break up this video into two parts because the makeup portion of this video was so long so if you guys stick around until Saturday the part two of this video will be up 
where I transform myself completely into Blair Waldorf with the hair and the outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first portion of this video and I will see you guys on Saturday for the rest of it. And make sure to like and subscribe down below for more videos like this. All of my socials will be down below as well. My Instagram, my TikTok, and my Hive account. If you want to follow me for more content like this, make sure to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!